everybody welcome back to the channel I know it's been some time I've had company weather's been crap so I'm not gonna go out and just make a video to make a video and I can't make a video obviously when I have company here that would just be rude so what we're doing today now that all of that is kind of settled out of the way the weather is still on and off we're gonna be doing something for the Cobia 240 now a lot of you guys apply it probably dying to see the boat get it out there fish with it crab with it use it um what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the adding the timberin suspension system to my truck now these are like a bigger bump stop that what's already underneath the truck and i hope that it gives more support and that way we can go ahead and we can tow the boat a lot better the way we're towing it now i don't feel comfortable taking it two hours away from where we are uh, that's pretty much uh, either side of the coast, whether I'm going to the Gulf or going to the Atlantic. Everything is two hours away. It's only a Ram 1500. It should be able to tow that boat with ease, no problem, but there is sag in the back of the truck. So hopefully these Timberins, and this is the, the DR 2500CA, and it should be, and it's, it's two of them, and it should give a little more oomph to that suspension, beef it up a bit so we can tow with ease. Now, I've gone ahead and I've taken the measurements already with it being level. I don't want to bore you with that. Uh, it's about 38 and a half to 38 and 5 eighths um, on the rear, okay, unloaded. And then 38 and a half in the front, unloaded. What we're going to do is we're going to hook up the boat. We're going to take those measurements. I'll show you how I took those measurements. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the timber ends on. All right, everybody. So... We pull the boat forward a little bit, more level ground than where it was. Let's take our measurement with the boat on the truck. So the rear squat is about 35 and a half to 35 and 5 eighths. sag in the back okay so just to recap um, about three inches of sag in the rear is what I've got about three inches and there is an inch rise up front now you want to make sure your truck your car is level you're running those nighttime lights you want to be hitting the road you know what I mean you don't you want to be up or down low where you can't see anything so we're hoping these timber ends are going to go ahead Help that suspension support the board, boat more, level out the truck more when towing, and then we are all good to go. And hopefully those three inches, that's alleviated. That'll be done, and we'll be nice and level. All right, everybody, here we are at Fruitland Park Auto in Fruitland Park, Florida. And these guys have been working on my truck for a while. Anything I need, I come right here. And they're going to be putting these new bump stops on for me. I do not have a jack that will accommodate me doing it at the house to lift it up. So they're going to go ahead and do this for me. And then we're going to bring it back and see how it is. Okay, guys, we are back here at Fruitland Park Auto Repair. All right, they've got the truck done. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what came off of the truck. All right. These are the bump stops that were on the truck okay they took these off all right see so if you guys can, can see that sorry for the sun okay those were the old ones they didn't really do much obviously they're not very heavy duty they're, they're not like the other kind all right and i'm gonna give you a look and show you See if you can see that, and that's what they installed. Right there, those are the timber bump stops right there. That's the left one, and 
obviously I got one over there on the right one. Yeah, guys, so I, like I said earlier, I come here for everything for my truck that needs to be done. I don't go anywhere else. Family-run business. Harry's the owner. These guys are very reliable, top-notch. They get you in here. They take care of you. They're no BS. Five stars for me. I'm going to go in here, pay my man, and then we're going to go back and hook the boat up. All right, everybody, we got the truck back at the house boat is loaded on the back of it and we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our measurements now this is with the timberins on just installed so the back the squat is 36 and a half to 36 and 5 eighths that's my measurement right there front we've got 39 in about one fourth 39 and one fourth all right guys this is just to give you a look here so you can see that I I'm not on total level ground I'm taking that into consideration uh, there is some squat in the back Okay, now I didn't expect the Timberins to be the cure all, but I did expect it to be better than what I had, and it obviously is. And yes, the boat is attached to the back, so you can you can see that. So yeah, we're looking at about an inch. I shaved off about an inch. Okay, that's front and back. All right, so it's. It's still got a sag. It's not. It's not quite level or anything. But these things, also, uh, I gained an inch off these bump stops. Uh, I will have to do this again. Obviously, when I'm on pavement, uh, this is uh, not the ideal situation. I'm on the grass here. <laughs> but you know, yeah, guys, 24 foot cobia. Okay. And this truck right here. Just gained a little bit in the back. That's what it's looking like. All right. All right, folks. So I got the Kobe out on the road here. Took another measurement right on the pavement. And we got 36 and 3 fourths for the rear. That's the sag in the rear. 36 and 3 fourths. And we got 39 and 3 fourths in the front. That's what we got in the paper. Much more level ground. All right. So, again, I want to give a shout out to Harry and his crew at Fruitland Park Auto here in Fruitland Park, Florida. They did an excellent job. They always do. I have no complaints. You get five stars from me, Harry. Tell the guys that did. I said thank you. I truly appreciate it. And yeah, I uh, I gained an inch. I was down three with that squat, and it came up an inch with these timberins. I basically had nothing for a bump stop underneath this truck. Uh, so I'm glad I was uh, able to get in the parts. Uh, we all know how that is right now. And uh, yeah, bring it down to Fruitland Park Auto and get it squared away. So, without further ado, guys. We're going to tow this boat on out of here, and we're going to get on the water. See all of you on the next adventure. Take care.